All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend, Possible here, and I'm here today to share with you a very serious subject that I have going on right now in my life, and that is addiction. Because, as you know, it's very easy to become addicted to certain substances and events and situations, and especially on YouTube. I have YouTube addictions. And um, I wanted to share with you the addictions of YouTube videos that I just can't help, I just cannot help not watching, you know? Um, they're great, they're funny. These are people who, whenever I'm on YouTube, I always look them up. Even if I've already seen it, I would love to see their stuff again. It's just that good. Uh, before I get on to my addictions, I wanna make sure one thing is absolutely clear. This is not a top 10 list. We're not going through a list in any particular order. We're simply discovering some of the best YouTube channels out there. And if you have a YouTube addiction, please let me know. I'd love to check out other YouTube artists, uh, such as myself and these fine folk here. Um, I want you to know there is a particular order though, ultimately. This is the order I discovered them, all right? And the first group I discovered was the Epic Rap Battles of History, uh, done by Nice Peter and Eric Lloyd. I think that's right. Should have done a little bit more looking into this first. Uh, maybe this will help me. Basically, you're looking at probably one of the funniest ideas. This is one of those concepts you wish you would have come up with it itself, you know? If there was ever an idea I wish I would have had first, this would be that idea. It's the, you take these people, from history, fiction, and reality, and you pit them against each other in a rap battle. They're so on with this movie, with, with these raps, you know? You got the best ones, in my opinion, are things like Sarah Palin versus Lady Gaga, where I'll admit Lady, uh, Sarah Palin won. Uh, Chuck Norris versus Abe Lincoln. I'm kind of on a draw on that one, but I think I'm going to say Chuck Norris ultimately won that one. And uh, Albert Einstein versus Stephen Hawking. Genghis Khan versus the Easter Bunny. Now, that one was funny. I don't know whoever came up with that idea. You give them suggestions, they put them together, and it's hilarious. One of my all-time favorites, Batman versus Sherlock Holmes. Doctor Who versus Doc Brown. And ultimately, the number one, so good, they made it not once, not twice, but three times, Darth Vader versus Adolf Hitler. If you have, if you're gonna watch any of them, watch that one. Great concept, awesomely executed, great special effects, really professionally done. And if you haven't subscribed to the Epic Rap Battles of History, I really suggest that you do. They're just great. Next up, Cinema Sins. Cinema Sins is also another one of those great concepts. It basically you're supposed to go through movie mistakes, but it's not just movie mistakes. Whereas errors in the movie, like for example in Pitch Black, remember when um, Vin Diesel was able to twist his shoulders around so he could lift his arm the other direction over a pole with a crack through it? Well, that crack wasn't there when it, earlier in the film. It was only put there later on so that he could conveniently escape. That's what Cinnamon Sid did, but there's more to that. There's errors in logic, errors in continuity, errors in just things that they have, you know? They're extremely funny, but the best part of Cinnamon Sins isn't their counting total. It's at the end, where they will put in scenes from the movie, but mix it up with something else. Kind of change your idea of what's actually happening. If you watch Cinnamon Sins, make sure you watch it for the full part, not just for little pieces. Okay, because it's well, it's well worth it. It's with everything they've done, it's well worth it. Next up, we've got Screen Junkies. Now, Screen Junkies and CinemaSins have both been known to do more than just movie mistakes or honest trailers where they kind of redo the trailer in a guy's epic voice and they, they point out movie mistakes, they point out errors in logic and errors in continuity, and just the error of the whole movie sometimes. It's hilarious, and if you don't like a movie, they will rip it up for you because they've done such a great job with it. Now, don't get me wrong, even if you like a movie, you should still watch it because it's funny to see some parts of the movie that you might find hilarious. You'll never see the movie again the same. I swear, you'll never see it the same again. Uh, they do more, but I focus more on their niche. And CinemaSins niche is pointing out the movie mistakes, doing the tally counter, and 
on its movie trailers is about movie making the trailers. Now, Screen Junkies does more than just the honest movie trailers. They do reviews, they do interviews, and they're, they're worth checking out. So does CinemaSins, but so it's all worth checking out. Those are the three that I'm mentioning. Now, I have an honorable mention. The reason why I have this honorable mention is because with CinemaSins, Epic Rap Battles, and Screen Junkies, you can subscribe to them. They're one unit. But this next one is one idea done over and over again by various people and that is the hitler reacts okay now it comes from this movie called downfall downfall was the final days of adolf hitler and nazi germany okay as it was coming to a close there's this one scene in it where a man is pointing at a map of berlin and he's seeing something i haven't seen the actual movie yet it's on netflix but I don't know if I can ever watch this scene and not die laughing when it's actually on. This is a bunker room scene where somebody is, is telling Hitler about what's going on. And Hitler says, okay, no big deal. And then two of his senior officers mention something else. And Hitler takes off his glasses. He's all upset. And he says something about, you know, if you don't agree with something or if you agree with something, leave the room now. Most of the guys leave the room. He's left with maybe four or five guys, and he goes completely apeshit. I mean, this guy just loses it. And people have taken this scene, the raw scene, and reposted the, the um, oh my gosh, what's that stuff called? I can't believe I'm blanking out on this. The, the subtitles. They redid the subtitles, so it sounds like he's saying something else, okay? He's not saying what he originally said. He's not talking about World War II. He's talking about something that's current. Ben Affleck becoming Batman has one. You know, um, game councils have them. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being aliens as opposed to mutants has them, and so on and so forth. If you ever want to find these, just search Hitler Reacts and let them all come up because you'll see they're all done by different people i don't know who started it but whoever did is a genius and i really do appreciate it a lot of people have taken it and copied it and now it's just hilarious so if you have a chance make sure you check out hitler reacts you'll find it very addictive so don't make make sure it's not so addictive that you don't you know you keep your job and you keep your friends and you keep your family but when you're ready to have some fun these people are guaranteed to give you a good time. All right, guys, that's it for me now. I'll see you at the theaters.